Okay, we're back again. Um, finally at Guild Wars. Let's get back to... There was a bunch of summoning I had. Those of you who don't know, if you go here... I didn't know. This is why I'm pointing this out in case anybody else didn't know. They're giving away, like, a Squintillion Molagora. Like, you finish these, all these challenges, and they give you ten when you finish them. And then there's, like, four at the bottom here, four at the bottom here. I'm already at the hardest one, so I did two more of these before. They gave me twenty. Now this is the thirtieth one. But each, like I said, each one gives you a bunch. And not only that, uh, when you come over here, you get a bunch of rewards. You get all this stuff. So come check these things out if you have. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just mentioning them because I didn't know they were there. Um, so for those of you who didn't know, uh, there's that. Um, anyway, yeah, along with that, I got like a bunch of these. As you can see here, I got a bunch of uh, water summons to do. So that's why I'm going to put them all in this uh, Guild War video. Let's see if we get anything right off the bat. Ooh, we actually did get something. Um, hopefully it's a good artifact. So it's one I don't have, but I think I have most, if not all of them. And I have like three copies of this. It's not wholly useful. Actually, what I should do is come do this real quick. And cool. Okay. Uh, let's get back to doing what we were doing. So, like I said, uh, as you can see there, I used up all my tokens. I pulled for Kiwana. Um, yeah, I had 153 of these tokens, right? Which I thought was kind of funny to me because it takes 200 tokens to reach the pity and I stopped exactly when so 153 if you remember that number 100 if you add this to that that's 200 so I did 153 here and the rest of that pity is gonna be burned here I don't know I just thought it was interesting that math how that math worked out that 200 I spent 200 in general right um, but yeah so I thought that's interesting uh, I already I, I got her um, I, you know Max drought and everything, so that's fine. Uh, and then what am I doing here? We're gonna go to here. Okay, so let's just do these fire ones first. See if we get anything out of this. Nope. Three star Hatan. Let's see. Uh, let's do these ones first, of course. So if we got five of these. Glenn, or is that Glenn? That's Ian. Glenn and Ian look the same. Typical white boys. Um. Venti, uh, Ian, uh, Monty, and nothing. Okay. Oh, Aether's always pretty good, just uh, in case you get Guide or Aether. Now we're back here. We got three of these. Let's see if we get anything interesting out of these. I'm not going to skip through them just because it could be five stars. Is there anyone from the blue pool that I need? I mean, cigarette merges are always nice for speeding up Wyvern like 3% faster, you know? Um, Angelica is not too bad. Um, of course, if you don't have her. Let's find out. Ooh, we actually got a five star. Yeah, wait, water units do I need? There's more Tywins for my A Tywin. Hopefully, I'll eventually get. Um, get him a triple S. And regular four star. Okay, so we got one five star, not too bad. Uh, and yeah, dumb enough. Uh, was there any more summons I had to do? So yeah, like I said, I need about what? 50 times this is 2,000, 2,350 bookmarks. Uh, next week, we still have this lineup, and then the week after that is when she comes, so we'll be fine. I think. Um, I think I'll we'll pull a bunch more, but nah, let's get back to Guild War. I just upgraded a bunch of units, so this video is going to be probably a lot a little longer today than usual. Because um, I'm like I said, those summons were at the beginning. Uh, after the video, I'm going to probably just show off the units and like their builds and whatnot. Uh, so we fought somebody here. This person used. Let's see. So yeah, the dual attacks gave her fuel, so she just like hit everybody. And what I'm assuming is he didn't dodge enough to get to survive this. Um, yeah, this is kind of like how you would go about it, right? Because she helps, I think, when dual attacks or something. I don't remember exactly what her kit does. Uh, but obviously she uh, activates her S2 when she gets hit, uh, when it's not their turn, and then she obviously heals and everything. So they kind of had this. Uh, down here, surprisingly won, considering how much fire they had. Um, like, this should have nuked her at the very least. Um, but I don't know. I guess she should have died. Yeah, she should have been nuked right off the bat turn one Then she would have done something to this one or this one 
yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting. Uh, I don't know how they lost this. Um, so yeah, like I said, I built a few uh, new units. Not new necessarily. They just I haven't been using them. They've just been sitting around. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's let's try this one. In here, we're doing. We're bringing you. No, oh, bringing you. You and where is you? Okay, this is basically fairly simple. Down here, we're bringing. Where are you? We're bringing Crow. Yeah, I think I, I think I got this. Let's let's try bringing Crow. And. I didn't put Crow in there for some reason. We we're bringing you. Yeah, so Crow, you, and somebody here. Who's gonna be here? I mean, let's see. Who can I? Who did I just gear that would be pretty interesting to use here? Um, it's probably a bad idea, but I kind of want to bring somebody who I just geared. That might be kind of fun to use here. I'm gonna try him. We're gonna see how this goes. And he is not equipped. Oh, okay. I remember. All right, I'll be right back. I guess. All right, and we're back. Um, yeah, that's that should be better. Yep. Cool. Uh, so basically, let's see. Yeah, he's gonna do this. That's fine. She's gonna use her S2, which now he's immune, so he's good on that. Um, I just wanna kill her, I guess. I can just kill him. Either way, uh, it's not that big a deal. We can just do whatever we want, honestly. I'm gonna use it on him, just because that skill modifier is kind of annoying. Like, his initial hit's not gonna do anything, but this will. Well, that took off the skill null, and these burns pop him. He's dead. Yeah. So she's gonna pop the um, bomb on that's currently on. What's his name? But oh, I, you know, but yeah, we're fine, right? No big deal. He's gonna have a barrier to tank um, all that pop damage. She sounded like she was French there for some reason. The voice acting, I don't know. That's kind of odd. Uh, let's just hit you with this, I guess. Oh, I, you know what? I should have geared um, him a little better, too. That's fine. I mean, he's not bad. It's just, you know, would have better. Could've, a little bit better gear could have done him some good. Okay. Oh, actually, this is dumb, because he's going to target um, Sage Balls. Oh, he did not, for some reason. That's kind of weird. I don't, I don't understand why he didn't do that. And we're probably going to get AoE here if we don't... Yeah. Oh, we didn't. Okay. So here comes this. Fortunately, we'll get immunity at, out of this at least, which is something more than nothing. Oh, this is bad. Um, we're just going to hit you with this. We might lose Ramiro. Yeah, that's a tanky. Um. Don't counter. Yep, she countered. This isn't going too well. Of course, the dual attack. That dual attack wasn't what killed us, but it didn't help. So we lost Ramiro, which is a huge loss. Uh, right off the bat, but you know, whatever. This is bad. Um we don't have enough damage to really do anything. And of course I missed. Who blinded me? Oh, it was, it was, um, let's see if she, if he dies. 
I think he's gonna die from this. And yep, yeah. I prefer not to lose him. And that was we were gonna lose without him. We we're gonna lose that anyway. So <sighs> that didn't go very well. That was kind of my fault. I mean, I probably should have brought something more conducive to like anything there. I mean, Rem probably could have been better just to like because she when she hits. That's 20% chance, plus whoever hits with her is another 20% chance. Um, but I already know that, like, I'm getting, I'm really kind of annoyed right now because my rem almost never counterattacks. Like, theirs is always counterattacking every other turn, but mine barely does it whenever, you know, she feels like it. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, I might just, I think I'm just going to take this. We'll see how this goes uh, up here. Uh, down here. Let's try this again with these two. He's going to target him. And we need something. I guess, uh, what's her name? Where is she? Could be pretty good here. We'll take you. Okay. So we're going to fight Shu. We're going to see how Shu is. Shu getting dual attacks with um, ML Lilius is kind of uh, scary. But we'll, we'll see how that ends up. Um, I really think I have to kill. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill. I won't be able to kill anything, but I'm gonna kill you. See how much damage this does. Of course. Finally. Uh, let's just S one. Okay. Cause she's gonna do this, and I was like, "Well, whatever." She's got she's got 20k HP. I might have been able to kill her with the S3, but I'm not sure. I didn't really feel like gambling. Let's uh, hit her with this, and then she'll be dead. Hopefully, well, I mean, it's not going to kill Pieria, but hopefully it's some damage. Yeah, it's quite a bit of damage. Okay, so not too bad. So it's more like just team-based. I was just kind of fooling around on the other team, but let's see how we go here. That's basically what I had uh, anticipated. See if I get any sleeps. Okay. Um, I guess let's just hit you. Let's find out if she's on counter set. Okay, and here comes this. I forgot, I forgot about this uh, crit resistance, but that's fine. Um, we're just going to sleep you, if we can. Oh, we got a stun, cool. Okay. This S3 I'm going to use on right on ML Lilius, just because she's like the most irritating one here. Okay, so she's gone. Uh, we can. I'm gonna use her S ones are gonna be. Well, basically, I'm gonna have to just burn everything on her. I mean, oh, she has immunity. I'm dumb. Oof, that was scary. Uh, is it you with this? Just put you to sleep because you're getting on my nerves. There we go. Oop. I don't die. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's dead. Well, there we go. Let's see. She's going to hit. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Hopefully, I can kill somebody with this. I don't know how much HP you have, but... Well, actually... I'm going to do this instead. This is a bad idea, but... Whatever. Oh, no, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Damn. 
Let's see how much. I don't know how much health she has. I should have paid attention then. And I got this. You see why a counterattack uh, version of her is really nice? She can just spam that. Let's see if I can kill her with this. I'm kind of doubtful, but. Yes! We got him back. Put you to sleep. Come on, sleep. Good. Uh, I don't know if I can kill him with this. It would suck if I can't. What does this do? Skill cooldown decreased by two. Um, yeah, I really want to just kill him with this. Hmm. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. Just to make sure he's dead. So we lost Kraut, but that's fine. He's an acceptable casualty, as they say. I have a, actually have a free unequip event today, so what the point of that is is like maybe I can just run and take all his gear and then put it like swap it over to Yulha and then use her. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so already this is this team up here is pretty irritating, so we're just gonna go with you. Gonna go with where is she? Uh, where is she? I'll go with you. And now, who do I run down here? Maybe we'll go with you? No, that's a bad idea. Let's see. Do I want to try this? I'm kind of just throwing stuff at the wall here. Um, down here, I lost Ramiru, so we can't use Ramiru, unfortunately. I just always need something to take out Rem, because when I fight Rem, she counterattacks all the time. I have, like, video evidence, I mean... <laughs> uh, so it's not, like, it's not like it's just me. Uh, Alencia would be pretty good right now if I had her built, but I do not, so we gotta make do with something else here. What if we brought you? This team seems like I kinda wanna try it out. The only problem is we don't have anyone to tank Ramiro here. Up here, this is the dumb team. I'm not going to bring her, but I don't really know what else to bring up there. Maybe I can bring you. I just, I'm just i just trying to like shove him into stuff just because I just recently built him, so I'm like, just put him in anything. Um, This team down here, like we need a lot of damage. Like, we need good fire damage. But, if I bring a fire unit, Rem's just gonna eat him alive. <sighs> hmm. Bring you... How about these two? How does this... Well, we don't need a fire unit per se, we just need to survive him doing whatever he's gonna do. Which I think this should be fine. I think I'm gonna try this instead. Well, actually, yeah, he, um, Dizzy's probably gonna die from an S3 to the face, but whatever. We'll, we'll just roll with it. Okay, so as usual, uh, unfortunately she might ruin part of our plans here. Oh, cool. Oh, he slept her. Let's push you up. Oh, I forgot that I... <laughs> I forgot that I had, um, I was gonna try... What's her name? 
DN out today as well, and he got the counter, of course. And he's dead. Cool. Let's just heal everybody. Sometimes with um, Sleepy Man here, um, Sage, it's good to um, just S1, right? Because let's watch this. So, I mean, we didn't get the whatever, that's fine. But what that means is that now every time they take a turn, Sage gets 20% CR push, which is pretty good. Let's push you up. So, she's about to S3 Sage, which is good because it'll bring his health down. Let's hit him with this. Hit you with this. I have to pay attention to how much health she has now. 7,000. I'm missing 10k, so let's just kill her. This is actually like one of the more ridiculous things about him. Like, he just heals all of his health back off of this. It's dumb. Yeah, it's like so dumb. And then we'll just hit you with this. I don't think this will kill her, but it'll probably do a lot of damage. I guess most people are running Proof of Valor because of this specific reason. Um, Everyone's running um, Hua Young, and she can just one shot her with an attack buff and the sleep. Now it's her turn, and she lost the turn. Perfect. This cannot be going better than it currently is. Yeah, sometimes you don't always want to just S3 right off the bat with your Sage. And let's push you up, and then hopefully you're dead after this. Yep, cool. Okay. What do we do here? Um, well, obviously we just S1 because we got to clear some of these buffs. He's gonna hit her. Let's see how much damage she takes. Okay, that's acceptable. No, he hit. That doesn't really matter whether he hit or not, but... I didn't see how much HP this um, MLCC had, but clearly she never has, like, a little bit, right? She always has a lot of HP. A colossal amount, some might say. Come on, counterattack uh, anybody on this. Actually, everybody here is on counter set, so. Okay, come on. Wow, nobody counterattacked. Dizzy was just kind of here to be here. Um, like I said, I didn't really have anyone else to bring. Oh my gosh, she's not countering. So much for. There we go, finally. And she's dead. Okay. So I didn't get my counterattack in before she got hers. Um. Which, for you know, if you watch, if you play against her or you use her enough, you realize that usually the game does that where it's like, <sighs> stop hitting him. Right now, my priority needs to either be um, ML Lilia or ML CC. Of course, he keeps hitting that. It needs to be either ML CC or, um, or the, what's it called? Ramiru, um, because to avoid this, but chances are he's probably going to land this. Yep. Well, we lost anyway, but whatever. Um, we kind of lost that on a decently poor RNG. Um, my, she didn't counterattack at all for like anything to save her life. Um, we didn't get good distribution on the strips from Dizzy, though Dizzy didn't get to take a second turn after that, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, so really, Dizzy was fine. I mean, like I said, she was just kind of there to die either way. If I was going to bring that, probably maybe something like an RB would have been better, just like turn 1, S3, and then turn 2, S3. But I didn't want to give Ramiru uh, Gab. But either way, I mean, it was fine. Uh, we were just kind of banking on hoping that... Um, Violet was going to carry us, and he just didn't decide to carry us today, so... 
as always, it's a 50-50 with him, so, you know. Uh, what else? Yeah, that was mainly it. I guess I'll show off some of the units I had. So, as always, I mean, everyone's seen my Hua Young. You guys already know. Um, I would like some imprints on her, but those will come later. Do I have? I do not have her maxed out, which I should. Well, yeah, we're going to max out. We're not going to max her out, but we're going to get the, the CR push on the S1 here. You don't need to spend these here, this 15% damage, uh, because her S1 doesn't do any damage. It's the proc, it's this additional, inflicts additional damage combined with this that does S that does a lot of damage on her S1. Uh, this is important, of course, and uh, this is important. Uh, but yeah, so that that's my that's my build for her. Uh, again, we didn't see Shu today, but Shu, here she is. Uh, almost 200 speed with... 22,000 HP and a little bit of uh, defense. This could probably be closer, not closer, but like it could be a lot higher. But this boot sucks, as you can see. She almost has 2,000 attack. That's all coming from this boot. Um, yeah, this boot's pretty garbage. So if I got a better boot, then she'd be in a better place. Um, who else did we show off today? I guess you. He's kind of been upgraded. This is better than he was before, but it's not really like that big a deal. Um. Dizzy, she's her HP is kind of low. Uh, I have to fix her at some point. Um, she's useful when she's useful, but a lot of times she ends up getting uh, stomped on. Um, here's Amelia. For anybody who wants to see how fast my Amelia is, um, 240 speed. Ramiro died. Ramiro hasn't changed since I built him, or her, whatever. Um, she just has. So I put on a decent amount of health. Combined with this, do a you know, decent amount of damage reduction. My Armin has a uh, 25% built-in counterattack chance. She did not counter once. The only time she did counter, she died immediately after. So you know, whatever. Um, yeah, 25,000 HP. It's obviously not even enough. That's like two health sets and all health pieces: health boot, health neck, just health everywhere. It's still not enough HP. Um, so take that as you will. I just like her because she kind of deters cleaves, like they don't just come in here and cleave everyone. And she also has the highest damage mitigation in the game. So she's got 20% on single attacks. Uh, AoE doesn't do anything, but 20% on single attacks uh, with the 20% um, redirection of this. The only person who probably has higher general damage mitigation, oh, not only that, right? Not only does she give those out, where are we? Not only does she um, reduce incoming damage by 20% and redirect it to her by 20%, she also gives out 8% HP to everyone else, right? So they're all basically tankier. The only person who comes close to or probably surpasses that is Eaton. Because uh, Eaton has 30% uh, damage redirection, which is better than Aureus, which is the high. Like, you want this one to be the higher number anyway. Um, and you can run. Adam and shield on him, which is general 16% reduction. Um, but of course, Eaton is less reactive. He doesn't do very much. He just—he's literally just there to sit down and tank. Uh, but he has this passive of 20% uh, extra HP for free. Uh, I just don't have him maxed right now. And then he gives out every, he gives everyone defense, which is again good. I don't know if it's as good as that 8.5% HP, but flat defense is one of the better stats because it's harder to get. Um, but yeah, so. If you're looking for the best one, free to play, or, you know, quote, free to play, funnily enough, I have not pulled a single Eaton after I maxed him out. Um, for some reason, he's just not that common. Which is kind of weird. But, yeah, if you're looking for, like, the best, best one, it's probably Eaton for team wide damage reduction. Uh, second to him, specifically, is going to be. Uh, where is she? Again, maybe she's not free to play exactly, but she's decently free to play. It's going to be Crimson Armin, because Crimson Armin reduces 15% damage of everything. Um, and this does not have to be crit. It's 1% less than Adamant Shield, but it hits everything, right? So even flat damage, which arguably is better. But you're losing 10% of the damage redirection from here. Um, I would put her on the effect resistance thing, but usually that doesn't really make a difference. So I'd rather just be her be tankier. And that's her. I mean, not that we saw her today. This is my Sage Ball. Uh... Not the best, but not the worst. I, I think he's pretty he's pretty decent right now. Um, obviously, we only have 95 effectiveness, but like his job isn't here to like lock down high 
EF people, right? Or high ER people, effect resistance people. He's not here to like lock down of, I don't know, what's her name? Like a Ruel or something like that. It's just to like turn one, stun everybody, and then just kind of, you know, let you react the way you did. And then obviously here I built HP, I built HP or, you know, uh, speed, but lots of HP down here. And then HP because I wanted to hit hard with his S3. Uh, his self imprint is effectiveness, which is about as useful as like it's gonna get. Um, not max mola, just because again this damage on this doesn't matter, but the effect chance on it does, um, which is pretty good because uh, this first skill is actually pretty good because you have a chance to sleep them. If you do sleep them, you move forward, you know, twenty percent, which is just helps his turn cycling a lot. And then like I said. Uh, whenever increases the well, when this skill is available, so you when you whenever you don't use it, when it's active but not used, um, you get 20% every time your an enemy goes. So he just kind of cycles forward a lot. Uh, this becomes more useful uh, in the matches where there's less units. So opening turn, you kind of just want to use this as soon as possible. But then as units start getting picked off, uh, it's okay to just leave this unused and then you know try to sleep people with this because if you're going four on four, turn one. You're getting four sleeps, right? But turn, you know, whatever, later, when this comes back off cooldown again, maybe there's only three units, right? So you're getting um, three sleeps, which is you're reducing your effectiveness by 25% of what this used to be able to do. However, if there's three, this takes up 33%, right? You, you slept a whole third of their team, whereas, you know, before it wasn't the same, right? So just take that as you will. Um, yeah, and like I said, the the S three is kind of ridiculous. Um, I just I was looking at him. I was I had built what's her name? I had built Yulha, and obviously the point of Yulha is this S three. But then I was like sitting here, and I was like, well, who has like a decent time doing true damage while you know being more effective overall? So between this skill and this skill, he's already pretty powerful. But then you add this skill in, which is again similar to the way hers works, but also silences everybody when you kill somebody and just full heals him for free. Like, the amount of advantage this, give, this gives you uh, when it goes off is insane. Uh, however, it kind of has to go off, right? As we saw there, he kind of just... I forgot, you know, how he used it exactly. But anyway, as we saw, like, sometimes it's effective, sometimes it's not, sometimes, you know... And it's always annoying when you're playing anything and, you know, like, you hit somebody with the S3 and they barely live, like, by a molecule of health. And he doesn't get the heal and he just dies. Um, but yeah, so keep that in mind. Uh, I need to boost this up so he'll have more. He'll have around 22,000 HP, a little more than 22,000 uh, when I boost this. This piece isn't really worth it. It's uh, 24 plus 7 is 31, plus another 7 is 38, plus 3 is 40, 38, 41. Uh, and then we can assume this is like a, I don't know, a mid roll or something, or, you know, we can assume it's like a 5. Um, we said 38, 41, so 46, right? This isn't even close to anything worth um, worth boosting, but I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like it could be decent. Again, this this helmet could work out better because we need to boost the HP here and the HP here. But again, this is kind of not that good because it's 20 uh, plus 11 is 31, plus 9 is uh, 40. Yeah, plus 14 is 54, so we're at 54. Um, again, not that good. Better than this one at least, but... Still, it's kind of iffy. Um, but yeah, all in all, like I said, this is my... Uh, he's not fully maxed here. Uh, I need to find two more of these, but I'm not really in a hurry. Just because the difference between where it is now and the max, which is the max is 24, so we're missing 3.4 uh, effect chance is like, you know, who cares? Uh, what's more important is actually the health that you get off of this, but, you know, we you know it's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, the speed is fine. Uh, he's a little slow. Um, but it is what it is. I, you know, I'm not gonna put my fastest gear on him. Uh, who else did we use today? Obviously, I'm, you know, my Dilibet is. Always, I always enjoy showing off my Dilibet. She's just like a. This build just turned out really perfect, especially with the crit damage, uh, set boosts that we got. Put her up to basically 350 crit damage, so she's at the cap, and then she gets, you know, 30 more from this. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Let's see, is there anyone? Oh, I guess, I don't know if I showed her off already, but where is she? Huh, oh, there she is. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, following my trend of just throwing counter sets on everybody for no reason is uh, DN. Uh, DN is actually pretty interesting. I I've been wanting to try her with counter set now for a while, but 
Uh, you can actually easily get her to 200 speed if you have better pieces. Like, this isn't too bad, but this, like, attack percentage is worthless and, you know, whatever. Um, this one's actually pretty decent. Again, not a high gear score, unfortunately, so I'm probably not going to boost it. This one's the same thing. So you can get her to, like, 200 speed or maybe over. Like, if you have, like, top-tier counter set speed gear, I mean, 220 is not the worst, but I don't have top-tier top speed gear. Um, like this one doesn't even have any speed, I don't think. Yeah, this has no speed on it, right? And this is the only this is the only health necklace I have in counter set. So again, if I had like ten speed on this, we'd be at you know whatever. And then you know we're missing the refine on this, right? So you can see she can easily reach like two twenty, right? Two twenty is pretty nice for her for you know just general usage. Uh, yeah. So and, I, and then you know so the imprint is good because it gives everyone attack, which she's here to boost your attacker. So there you go. Um, the counter set is here so that uh, her S1 boosts her CR, right? So she gets 30% CR boost every time she S1s. Uh, this one here heals someone with the lowest, which is fine. Uh, and then on top of that, you gain uh, buff clearing with this and a barrier. And then on top of that, you get the, um, the attack and crit resistance from this. And then she gets 50% CR push. Uh, here we go. Here's this. I chose this one. Yeah, so when she has a buff, she'll boost up your highest attack unit by 10%. Um, so if she's getting focused down, um, which they kind of should be because they want to limit your healing and limit your boosting capabilities, if she's getting focused down, she'll counterattack, hopefully quite a bit, right? Which means that she'll give herself extra turns, heal with this more, and then boost up your, t your damage dealer more with this too, right? They just get a lot of value out of it. The other, the other one I would probably run on her is probably this one. Fifteen percent CR push to everyone whenever you S two. Um, yeah, that one's not bad. I don't know if I have this one. And you get more barrier. I don't think the barrier is really worth everything, but like I said, it would either be this one or this one. I like this one. Like I said, I wanted. To, if you're not, if you're running her on a speed set, run this one. Uh, but if you're running her, well, I mean, you can run this on a speed set too. It just like this one's a little better. Um, but I, I want this one just because I want to maximize how much um, the S1 does for me because she's on counter set. The S1 gets her 30% CR push, and now it gets my highest attack unit 10% CR push every time she has ones with healing as well, right? Um, so like I said, she's not the best. Um, we'll see how she plays out. I was supposed to use her today, but I kind of messed that up. Um, but in the future, I'll probably have more videos with her. I, I'm thinking I'm doing some RTA now that I have a bunch of these units kitted out, and I want to see where they... How they handle themselves um but yeah so till then um i'll see you guys next time